hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial now you are watching part 2 of the sub series c hash rich text box control so in this video we are going to learn about the example as well as form design so in the last video we talked about the basics of the rich text box control so this is the example we are going to create here so the control here is the rich text box control so here you are seeing some content taken from the um, msdn and the portion of text is formatted here you can see a specific portion of text is set with bold and here we set a specific portion with uh, italic as well as uh, bold so likewise you can perform uh, formatting in the rich text box control so this is one part and next we will learn uh, how to save and load content here you are seeing a save button right so using this save button you can save the content either in uh, plain text or in uh, rich text format so this is one task we will do and here we will use a uh, file save dialog we will open a standard dialog to save the file and there we will specify you want to save it as a plain text or a rich text format so next we will see how to load plain or rich text content into this rich text box control then we have a uh, clear content and this will clear the text box uh, rich text box content so this uh, text is uh, not used so we will leave it next if you see content style here in this part we will set bold or italic or underline text format so what user will do user will select a portion of text using the uh, mouse so let's say this portion of text is selected then they can click uh, bold or italic or underline so let's say user is clicking bold what happens a bold style is applied for the selected test so if i is pressed then on top of bold italic will be applied so this will act as a toggle like uh, if bold is already applied and if you select the text and click bold again the text will be uh, uh, the bold attribute will be removed that means the text will go to normal so for example if bold and italic is applied already and user is clicking italic the italic will be removed here in the selection of text and bold stays so that's how we want to implement this portion next here you can see in this combo box a list of font will get loaded then there is a font size so once again user can select a portion of text then they can apply the font as well as font size and if previously some of these attributes are applied like bold italic underline those will stay and a new font will be applied to the selected text of course with the selected font size so this is also we are going to implement one two three font style then applying the font itself with font new font and font size finally we will look at the clipboard operation so here if you see uh, we can copy portion of a text from here then we can paste 
so those operation we can do and finally we will see how to perform undo and redo operation so let's say that uh, we will consider only this uh, portion of uh, text for now user applied bold first then they applied italic then they assigned a new font font new then they applied the font size so this is the order user applied change to the rich text box content so it can be a different thing also say let's say this is one change set the second change set user applied bold here then bold here then bold here so this is also recorded change one change two change three or if we take only this one change one change two change three change four so first let us consider this is what the user applied and if you perform undo the last done change will get removed that means font size will be removed then font name will be removed and whatever is the uh, previous font before applying this that will get restored similarly bold and italic will be removed and if we go to this change set here user applied bold for a different portion right so if you keep on clicking the undo this will become normal first then this will become normal then this will become normal so that's undo redo it will apply the redo based on this change history all right those operation also we will see now let's go to the uh, form design and look at the placement of the controls as well as the control names we can learn this uh, form design in a simple way so first uh, go to tools uh, options not customize and go to view menu and here you will see document outline view this will be useful so i already added document outline here and if it is not there you can simply click here drag and drop under what menu you need so the best location is other windows there you can place a document outline view since i already placed it i'm going here other windows i am bringing document outline if you see here the example is created with the two panel first let us look at the panel two and this is uh, the panel two here we place panel two panel two you can drag and drop from container we already have a sub series for panel so you can drag and drop the panel here then here i'm checking the panel and property if you see we are docking the panel to top and left that means this panel stays here in the top and left that's all so you can look at the size this one you can visually change so that's all here once a panel is placed a drag and drop the rich text box control to that panel so here is the rich text box control you can simply drag and drop it inside the panel so always refer this so here we named this as panel 2 inside rich text box control was placed and we named that rich text box control as rt so that's the name we gave then font is microsoft sans serif that's the default uh, i think uh, we changed the uh, font size you can set whatever font you want anyhow here we will 
at runtime we can change the font also uh, here we kept font as uh, microsoft sans serif size you can decide uh, as you like you can place the size so after this if you see we have one more panel so first we place one panel then we will drag and drop rich text box control inside that panel after that we have one more panel since we named this as panel one when you are designing you place the panel one first resize it to occupy uh, let's say one fifth of the width after that here if you see we are anchoring this uh, or we are docking this uh, panel all right so top and left that's the anchor for our panel one and docking we changed the default to right similarly for panel one sorry for panel two this portion anchor is top and left but dock is fill so first you will place the control here uh, i mean panel here then you drop the second panel and you will say fill that means whatever is the remaining portion that will get filled let's say so this is our form right here under the container control we are taking a panel and we are dropping it here and this is panel one right by default it will give it as a panel one and anchor if you see it is top left we are not changing that but dark we are saying right so that means the panel will get stayed here after that you can place the controls inside this panel like uh, uh, the rich text box and navigation controls after that we place one more panel here and we will say dark property as fill that means here already panel one is occupying this portion right if you want you can resize it and now when i say fill here this will fill the remaining portion and if you want to see that we will change the background color so that so this is uh, the panel two for the rich text box so here um, under the common control you can place a rich text box inside this panel all right now we will go back to our example so now the rich text box if you see this is the rt right we named this control as rt and here we are choosing dark as fill here when you choose dark property as fill it will the rich text box control will fill the complete panel now we'll go to the document outline for rich text box panel 2 is the parent right so when we say dark and fill since we said dark property as fill the rich text box will the rich text box will fill the panel 2 all right now let's go to the other controls in uh, panel one we have a label so you can design as you like we just kept it as a label label text is one save here button name is btn save and other stuffs are not important text is save this is btn load so you can look at the property which is in bold that's what we changed text is load use visual so those stuff are all uh, cosmetic changes you can apply your own color so this is btn clear next there is a label after that we placed a three button control btn bold btn italic and btn underline
so once again a label one more label this is a combo box cmb font and this is a cmb font size so these control names will be useful when you download the code from the video description in the next coming sub series and if you uh, place your own name uh, then uh, when you download the code you need to change the control name inside the code all right so once again this is label and these are all buttons btn copy btn paste btn and btn read and the rich text box name is rt that's all here about the form design and in the document outline you can see all the controls panel one contains read undo paste btn copy label 5 font size label 3 label 2 cmb font underline italic bold these are all button the notation you can see btn btn stands for button underline this is the button so when we are coding we can just by looking at the name itself we will understand it so you can see the relation there are uh, how the uh, panels are nested here form form is the top level container which contains two more container panel 2 and panel 1 panel 2 contains a rich text box and panel 1 contains all other supporting controls to explore the rich text box behavior so these are all just control names that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye